You're looking at the location of what could be Toronto's version of Central Park. I'm Natish Bassono, and next to me is where a proposed rail deck would go up. A second public meeting was held at City Hall about the project, one that Mayor Tory said would be an iconic attraction for the city. I am going to tell you that I believe this is a bold idea, and I'm going to tell you uh, with every ounce of determination that I have, it will be built, um, because I think it is something that's good for the city. It's a project that could become Toronto's new front yard. A large city green space that hopes to keep up with the extraordinary growth of the city's population and serve the needs of a future generation. We see things happening in Nathan Phillips Square. This park would be to Nathan Phillips Square, so twice as much space. It's going to connect all sorts of green spaces. You know, it will help the people who live next door because we don't have much parkland downtown, but it will really be a place for the city to come together and celebrate. I love a wide range of, of foliage and, and landscape. I am about that kind of flexibility in the city, and I think that's what Toronto stands for, and I think this is what we're missing. The railroad tracks that I, whatever I drive by, is so ugly. I've seen it for years and years and years, and it would be so nice to get rid of it. No matter what, this city has to grow, has to grow right, has to be beautiful, has to be clean, has to be livable, and I want to be proud of it. The proposed deck structure will keep railways running underneath. It will have an irrigation system and will be layered and built in phases. And city officials insist the vision of this project is to create a park nothing else. There is a private proposal that has come forward proposing to build towers on top of city-owned land, which we're not selling. Now, there are a lot of unanswered questions like how much this project will cost, where exactly will the money come from, and how much disruption will it bring to both residents and commuters? Of course, the city said they're ironing out the details and hope to have some answers in November. Natish Bissono, City News.